these are the types of problems that you will see on your AP Calculus test. I even took this off the AP Calculus website. Um, however, on this problem, there is an error because if you notice right here, it is saying to use a right Riemann sum. However, in my solution, it does say the left Riemann sum, but note that we are using a right Riemann sum for this problem. Okay, so let's go ahead and get started. Problem says the values of a differentiable function f are given in the table below. Approximate the integral of this function from x equals 0 to x equals 8 by using a right Riemann sum. So here's the table that I'm given. Usually this is all that you are given. And from the last video, we know that when doing a right Riemann sum, I am using my right endpoint. Okay, so for this problem, <clears throat> excuse me, I am using my right end point, which is negative 2, and that meant that I went from 2, which is my B, to 0, which is my A. That is my change in X. That is why right here I have 2 minus 0, and this negative 2 came from the right endpoint. I do the same thing for the next part. I'm adding it with my next right endpoint, and I'm subtracting my b minus a to get my width, so 4 minus 2. That is this section. I then add it again with my next endpoint, which is 8, and multiply that with my width, which is 6 minus 4. That is here. I add it with my last endpoint for this table, which is 14, and I am then subtracting 8 minus 6 to get my width. After I do my algebra and add these up and subtract as well, I end up with a right Riemann sum of 52. Okay. If I were to do the left-hand Riemann sum for this problem, I would do the exact same thing to get my width. So I would take 2, subtract 0 to get my width. However, this time I'd be multiplying it with my left endpoint, which is negative 10. Whoops, sorry. I would then do the same thing. My width would be from 4, subtract 2. And my left endpoint I multiply with would be negative 2. I keep going all the way until 8. 8 is my last left-hand endpoint that I end on. The right-handed Raymond sum ended on 14. And note that it didn't start on negative 10. Okay.